Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me once again in TNO, the last days of Europe, playing as that beautiful Commonwealth of Siberia. So this is not where we left off yesterday, and we've got a couple comments to get to. But basically, at the end of last episode, I figured, you know what, we have no focuses, all we have are, like, decisions to take in terms for, uh, like, political philosophy and political integration, as well as development. And I've already done most of the development. I mean, I super invested as much political power as I could into development. But it literally, it was for a year. 1968, nothing happened. We just, I just sat here. And I figured, you know what? Let's not show that just because we want to speed this campaign up just a little bit, you know, as much as possible. But while still retaining our major events such as going to war, like what we can do right now and prepare for war. So we get a cold days event between us and the Siberian National Republic. So uh, I do apologize that I didn't show you everything, but... Literally nothing happened. All I've done, I think, is just make my tanks bigger and bigger. They're 32 combat width now. Uh, let's see, these divisions are still 20 combat width, which is not bad. I put some main battle tank recon on our, you know, infantry divisions to give them, actually, quite a bit of armor. <laughs> so, that was definitely a decision I made. We're out of tanks now. <laughs> my bad. But, uh, we'll make, we'll make a lot more tanks, because we're making a lot of good things here. Also, the debt has gone up to 38 billion. Woo! Uh, let's see, our annual growth rate is 8.1, so that's not bad. We're almost at 50 billion up there. I think I, I believe I did slash spending, so. Regardless, we must prepare and defeat the Siberian National Republic. Uh, far Eastern fortifications. I do not want more military factories because that hurts our budget. Let's see. I, that's five military factories, though. That's pretty nice. I like the infrastructure, though. That might be pretty good to do. Tenutuba. Ooh. They get less war support. We get more political power. Uh, yes, please. More manpower. Sure, why not? Infrastructure, I love infrastructure. Military factories can... We might still do military factories. We'll see what happens, though. Cool. And let's let, that, let time go on. Uh, so, yeah. A grand showdown. The Commonwealth of Siberia has overcome its obstacles and conquered all other nations in its way, either through peaceful unification or for, through force of war. Now it stands at a precipice. The vast territories of Russia are expansive, while the Commonwealth of Siberia controls a significant portion of it. There's no, still much more to conquer. We must begin. Preparing for a war that will challenge our military, unlike all other wars that have come before us, shall fall. Uh, let us see who will stand in the end cold days. Unfortunately, going by the recent actions, it seems that all hopes of peace with the Siberian and National Republic has been dashed. An announcement from Magadan, the Siberian state has claimed that we are an illegitimate state that stands in the way on the path to reunify all of Russia. Following this declaration of hostility, they expelled all of our citizens within their borders. As our military starts to mobilize and clouds circle the horizon, it seems that our conflict of interest shall be settled on the battlefield rather than at the negotiating table. So be it. Fall back lines, eastern fortifications, get some fortifications. That'll be nice. But yeah, last time, we got a humanist-aligned economy, political crisis, and a humanist army. We did really well. Ooh, house elections. Hey, look, we got one more humanist on our side. Look at that. And also, I did this too. We're at 100% here versus, was it, 95%? 97%, so that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, eventually, we did do pretty well on that. So apparently, 12% might be the max you can get for terms of GDP or interest rates on your debt, which is okay. Uh, let's see, we can do stuff here. We can still do our campaign, but as someone pointed out yesterday, it might not matter too much. Hey, look at total seats. Awesome. It might not matter too much for uh, election results because there's no TN, there's no, like, a lot, there's no real content for the 1970s for Russia. So, that's kind of the reason why I'm doing every other campaign as a Russian warlord. Because even though I want to get through as many warlords as possible, you can only go so far at the time of this recording. In the future, it'll be better, and there'll be more content, but just... I want to make sure I can save at least some of the more special paths for later. And maybe come back to them, so... Regardless, we might not need to focus on this at all. And I have got a little bit more popularity here, so... Let's see. Someone also recommended, just let the free market decide to boost your economy up. We could do that. We could definitely do that. Let's see what happens. I don't want to lower my stability anymore, but we do get more research facilities, which is pretty good for base... And we also decrease political outsiders... Uh, I'll just go and do that, why not? We lose a little bit of stability, but whatever. And all we can do is worker, this worker stuff, worker training, which I'll do as well, because we get more industrial expertise, ooh, and import heavy machinery, ooh, increases GDP, moderately increases GDP, second inauguration of LBJ, all the way with LBJ. Cool. And which one do we have worse, equipment or expertise? I love both. I really do. Oh, we're also by... Weinberg that we showed you last time. Expertise is 5.5. 205, wow. We have an industrial, industrial base. Experience, industrial base. Let's probably get equipment. <clears throat> that would be good. That would be very good to do. Let's grab the equipment. Nice. 
Very good. 90 factories, not bad. Still building up some radar, actually. On both sides of the country, improved motorized equipment. Let's see, let's do this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then, it's 1969. Happy New Year, my friends. Happy New Year. It's going to be one heck of a year. Let's get some better AKs. Uh, advanced infantry rifles, I should really say, but basically the same thing. A version of the AK. <clears throat> hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Everybody get even better radar. <clears throat> awesome, 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 awesome. Cool, cool, cool. And it's almost 1970. Let's see. Industry. Have I neglected anything besides resource extraction? I guess we might as well do that now. It's fine. Cool. I press Alt and I pressed that earlier. I thought I screwed stuff, stuff up here, but whatever. Yeah, not bad. How many divisions do we have? We have. Well, now 21. Oh. There we go. And you guys, basically, Magadan has. Uh, about the same. Somewhat about the same. They're pretty good on infantry templates. And motorized. Little one light infantry, but our guys are 20 combo width. They do have a little bit of armor on them. Which is kind of nice. A little overkill, to be honest with you, but whatever. 20 combat with APCs. That's not bad. I want to make sure we do get enough here, though. We do got to keep an eye on organization, so we're not going to make it 15-5. Because... I want around at least close to 40 organization. By throwing on more main battle tanks, our organization goes lower and lower, which is not ideal. And if we're investing this, that'd be good. And then fall back lines, just in case. Good, 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 good. How much do we get a day? We only have 42% war support. That's not ideal. As long as... Uh, the one on the west over here, the West Siberian Republic, does not try to fight us, we'll be okay. Oh, look, not 100%. Nice. Very nice. And how much political power do we get? 2.44. Oh my goodness. So much. Just so much political power. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. I really can't wait until TNO2 or the um, the second update, major update for TNO comes out. Just because they can get hopefully so much more content in the mod. Which it has a good amount of content. It's just... I want more. I love I love TNO, TNO. Like, I've said this before. I don't say it again in the future, but TNO, the New Order, such a fun mod. I love story-driven stuff. But I say that in every campaign, almost every episode. Research facilities, yes, please. And we're currently at 55%. I might just have to do that. You know what? Dead is but a number. We're not, This campaign isn't going to last forever either, so it doesn't matter. 8.7, it is what it is. Uh, look at that. Point one a day, nice. Oh, wow, that's a lot of political power. Holy cow. Uh, prepare. Oh, god dang it. Mm. Well, actually, this will give us 20%. That's 30%. Actually, we don't need to do that, so that's okay. We don't need to do that. You know what? Even though we don't need to do this too, probably either, we get some more campaign so, uh, support. You know, why not? Let's see the maps. Actually, we lost some support in Kimarovo. That's not cool. So, 25.8. So, could be worse, I guess. Could be much worse. Anything else? Consolidate humanist rule. Nah, we good. We good. Oh, it still goes down a little bit, huh? It was at 100%, now it's at 99. Anything else here that we really, really need? Interest rates. Stability. Political outsiders. Flexible elector requirements. No, not really. No. No. No, 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 no. Prepare industrial centers. We could do that by now. Ooh! Developmental subsidies for... Basically, you get some debt... You lose civilian factories for a few days, and you moderately increase GDP. The only reason it's like that, oh, port on the horizon, cool, is that uh, I, I probably already developed like all the infrastructure here for the most part, so we could take that later, later on. Encourage returning expatriates. Let's get some more G more um, stability, and then higher foreign instructors. That'd be great. Get more army XP. Lose some political power for a few days. Gets, and then our army profession professionalism will increase. Hey, invaders might be camp binky, yeah. Yeah, baby. So, war on the horizon. The troops of the Siberian National Republic are beginning to mass at our borders. With the fortifications or fortified bunkers and military operations at display, their intentions are clear. War will face our nation, and we must mobilize our troops quickly if we don't want to be overwhelmed at the front. Their forces shall test our metal, but we know better. Theirs will shall break first, and our nation will triumph in the lands of Russia. 
Absolutely, right, Bibink? My beautiful black cat. Ah, uh, he wants us to win. He wants us to do wants us to do well. Hopefully. Let's see. Get some APCs. Raise up that armor. It lowers our actually uh, adding APCs lowers our armor, but it gives us more and more just a tiny bit more organization. We're, we can throw one more in, that's just fine. Uh ooh, what do we have over here? No, we're good. So now we're over ten I'm sorry, just, just that's a bit too much in my mind. We have one, two, three, and we're starting a fourth line right there. That's not bad. So uh, we can throw in a military factory. I know I didn't want to build five, but building, I guess, five will be okay as well. I just don't... I don't know. I don't want that happening too quickly. Oh, boy. There goes the Iberian Council. Another step back. That's not good. We're going to see Spain fall apart, which is fine. Get some advanced infantry rifles next. We could be getting an invasion once this is these two are done, so... And we'll do that probably. Yeah, Bink, you okay? Take a nap. Take a nap. I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, as well as some water, because yesterday I had too many outtakes with my voice just kind of scraggling up or something, so it's kind of annoying. At least from my perspective, it was annoying what I had to do. Military austerity. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's not slash the military budget anymore. Invest in construction. Uh, moderately increases GDP. Why not? 9.93. Uh, could be worse. Could be, could be a lot better, actually. I just want more growth, though. Not sure how to do it. So, when, like I said earlier, someone recommended that we just let the free market decide what happens. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and they go to war with us. Okay. Wait, hold on. Is it... Excuse me. Where are your soldiers? But okay. Sure, why not? <clears throat> Experimental helicopters. Very cool. Uh, you guys are already helping them out. So, what did I want to do? I do want to try out helicopters... It is 69. I mean, we could. I wish we had another research slot, but it is what it is. Artillery, actually, armor. 1960s. Can I get any more organization down here? Get some more 20% breakthrough. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. Also, we might have some more planes. I did make sure we have more air bases and stuff like this. We have a lot of cast, actually. It's kind of nice. We have plenty of manpower. Half a million manpower. I love it. There you go. How many extra planes? Yeah, we have a lot of casts. We really don't have that many planes. I'm going to save those planes for storage. Or for, like, divisions that need more stuff. Can they pierce us? Nope. Nice. Good. Oh, we're just moving in. Actually, how fast are these APCs? No, that's fast. 13 sometimes? Two? <laughs> they were up to 19 at one point? That's so cool. Alright, losses us far. Th oh, we've actually lost 1,000. Wow. We've killed off 3,700, so... Eh, that's a give and take. And we gotta... Oh, we begin the invasion? Eh, why not? <laughs> Irkutsk Hydroelectric Station captured! There we go. With the city of Irkutsk recently taken by our Siberian armies, the mighty hydroelectric stations come under con our control. Constructed under the orders of Genrik Yagoda after the Soviet Union was pushed back to the corners of Siberia, this work of infrastructure has reliably generated energy for the entire city under his command. Nice. A mighty symbol of the Russian mastery over nature, the Irkutsk hydroelectric power station may be also be a symbol of our control over the eastern Siberian frontiers amidst the chaos of warlordism in, of course, the east. Given the immense amount of electricity gathered from the currents of the river, we can utilize the potential of the hydroelectric station to send power to our manufacturing plants, factories, and homes of citizens living within our territory. The concrete station towered over the Siberian waste and churned through great amounts of the Angara's water to generate electricity. We will utilize the natural veins of our fractured nation with such a magnificent source of electricity in the region of our energy su supplies will never run dry. So will surely aid our efforts. We got less consumer goods, more plus 50% more construction speed, and more infrastructure construction speed. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Actually, if we take over more enemies, then we might just uh, do really well in terms of GDP then. Maybe both help out. There you go. Two versus 1v1, you're going to lose. 2v1, you're probably going to win. What did I just say? Don't don't worry about that. Just go right there. Go right there. Oh. Oh. You might want to help them out, maybe. Can they pierce us? They might be able to pierce us at that point. Nice. Nice. Resource extraction. 18,000. We've already lost 8,000 of, of our own, though. Hmm. You know, since we're using eight, these guys a bunch, we get more soft attack on them. That'd be nice. Cool. We're still moving in. We found more of their army there. They actually have more divisions than us, maybe. Yeah, they actually do. Holy cow, that's not good. 
I mean, they've doubled the casualties, which is nice. How is air doing, though? We're doing okay here? Oh, we're doing relatively okay. Relatively. Let's see, anything else here? Development facilities. <clears throat> Not bad. However, with this war, I'm learning that 20 combat width is not going to cut it. We're going to need more. We're going to need 40 combat width, probably. How much more map do they have? Made in Russia? Yeah, they have more divisions. We want... Mm, yeah, they definitely have more. 31,000, that's not bad. We, we've got a good amount, though. For ourselves. Okay, at this point, we're going to duplicate this. <clears throat> I might just use these right now. Infantry, infantry. Just because we're doing okay on the line... I just wish we were doing a little better. Ooh, that's all we got. God dang it. U.S. Japanese Hawks begin. That's good. That's very good. Anything else? Nope. Expand the university system. You might as well. We lose a little bit of stability. Actually, we shouldn't really do that. It, it, it does lose our stability, so that's not ideal. Huh. My bad. But then we get some more stuff to help us with our stability down there. I just want more research. I just want more development, you know. Holy crap. What's going on down here? Oh, it's this area. This is really this is not great, but it's not bad either. Oh crud. Um did you guys Ah I see. Now we're starting to run out of space here, that's fine. Alright, you Ooh, you gonna help out here. There you go. There you go. Nice. Keep pushing them back. See what we can do. Civil War erupts in Yemen. That's fine. More artillery. Oh, this is disgusting. Um, I don't want these guys to get cut off, so... I'm forcing all three of you. Yeah, we gotta cut through this quickly. This is disgusting. Uh, cut through here, if you can. Hold on, now don't lose yet. You got, you got four divisions there. Help them out, help them out. If we can circle and destroy at least one division, that'd be nice. Best officers, best of, yeah, I want more, I want more development. What happened to the line here, guys? Um, as long as you're not moving up, that's fine with me, but still. Come on. How did you not win here? There we go, that's nice. Go and get rid of these guys. Just help them out. There you go, that's good. Anything else we can do? I keep clicking on that. Ah! Insurrection in Oman. Cool. 28,000 versus 64,000. Better industrial expertise. Uh, let's see. I think we've already read this before. Yeah, I think we already have. So we're actually really good. We're one of the most innovative industries in the world. Beautiful. Let's just keep this open. Does this give us more stability? No. It increases GDP, so we'll do that. Cool. We just need five more army XP. You know what? I'm going to convert some of these guys already. Because we need to convert them. Not too many, though. Maybe like five divisions. There you go. There you go. Now you should be able to do pretty darn well, no matter where I put you. So. Right here. Could you guys actually win right there? No. Don't attack yet. Oh, some of you guys are... Oh. Ah. I see. You have a little more... Slightly more strength. We can beat the snot out of those light infantry divisions. That's good. Oh, defeat of Portugal. Oh, God. There goes the government. They want to win? Okay, well, I'll kill you off here then, too. Hmm. Oh, poor Iberia. Nice. We got that going. Uh, we don't have any tanks in the field yet, so we're not going to do that yet. Breakthrough. Yeah, it doesn't give you any more organization. Actually, doing that would... We already did that, which is good. Logistics, engineers, maybe get some better recon? Yeah, why not? In the war, there are no winners or losers, only victims. Yeah, I suppose so. Can they pierce us here? Kind of. Sort of. Actually, you know what? Take half you guys, you're gonna come right there. And take you, you're gonna go right there, so we can circle another division. Beautiful. Good. Go, 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 go. So we can circle two divisions. Yes, we have done it. There you go. They don't need that much help. We'll help them out anyways. Oh, God. Spain, you're falling apart, man. Beautiful. We got rid of more divisions. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How's their stockpile looking? 
Uh, we're doing okay, it looks like. Even our main battle tanks, we have a positive amount, which is awesome. Artillery's looking great. Infantry rifles, they're doing okay as well. I want more. I want more development, please. <laughs> cool. 40 combat with throw on one more. Infantry, and you're great. You are great. One, two, three, four, five. Another five. We'll throw them and make them 40 combat widths. We gotta get, probably get some logistic companies too. Maybe. If we need, really, really need them though. Just damage the hell out of them. There you go. There you go. Put, push them back over the river. Alright, so they want to do some probably some encirclement stuff around here. Which is not going to be ideal. You guys go there. You go to, oh, Cheetah. There's Cheetah. If this guy wants to come into Borzia, then so be it. You can try to. Hey, 56 billion. Nice. The GDP is slightly going up. That's good, 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 good. Let's go right there. Are they moving in? Nope. I might do that too, maybe. Uh, we want to get to Cheetah first, probably. Let's wipe. Slowly we're winning against those guys. Can they pierce us? Hopefully not. Nope. We are smashing the heck out of them, though. And that's great. Awesome. Oh, another division. Yes, please. We need them. We need them definitely right now. Uh, so that's done. That's done. Let's just go ahead and do advanced APCs. You might as well at this point. You just might as well. Oh, they did not like that. Alright, well, I don't like you here, too. You're going to have to hold. Good. Very good. Civilian austerity. Nope. 12 billion. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Nice, we smashed them very nicely. Uh, can you help out here? Yes, you can. Good! Another two divisions encircled. Don't mind if we do. One division should be able to clear them out. That's good. Yeah, fighting through here is actually kind of a pain in the butt, but you know what? It is what it is. Come on, get in there. I want to encircle these two divisions. Come on, get in there. Yes. Oh, everybody's captured. <clears throat> After a particularly bloody siege, our men have captured. Cheryomushki airbase from the cowardly enemy and pillage the facilities of any retrievable plunder. With most of the airbase left intact after the, after the siege, we find that the many field may be able to put into purpose sooner than rather than, than later. The aircraft that stood in the hangar sulk. The middle wing still and unused. <clears throat> With an entire airbase now under our control, our territories can now support the squadrons of planes staring across the ashen Siberian skies. With the airfield as an asset in, of our favor, our men may advance through the Siberian wastes, knowing full well that pilots watch over them from the skies. The east is cold and our winds are colder, but no such chill could render our determination to clash and to fly. More air superiority, reliability. Awesome. Oh, this looks great. More, better fighters. I love better fighters, man. I love it. Two divisions go bye bye. With, especially with the help of the APCs. Now, do we have more divisions than them? 25? Yes, we do. That's good. Beautiful, my friends. Oh, you guys can move up too. So we're not getting attacked anywhere. Encourage political thought. This is what I love. More daily political power. Yes. Oh, can we get 2.72? Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. We can still probably try a general attack. We lost the airbase. What the heck? Oh, it's just in Cheetah. That's fine. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, you're gonna die here, boys. But I can't I can't imagine they have that much more manpower. Return to Hotabin. Oh, they're out of manpower, so the more damage you do now, well they can't recover, so. Supply wise, guns looking okay. We don't have a lot. But we have a good amount. We need more anti tank equipment, and we recaptured it. Great, great, great. Yeah, I'll probably do this to three at least. Put you at three as well. And make as many guns as possible after that. There you go. Let me try a general attack. We could try. We're not going to do well down in the south. In the north, though, we might do okay. But they have no more manpower, so any damage we do is basically things that they can't do. They can't recover. I know this probably won't help us out. And we got to save political power up for when we uh, annex everyone, but I don't want to lower my stability anymore, so it's only it's only 59%, so we got to wait. I'd love to expand the university system, but it's not worth it right now. Oh, poverty relief? Yes. That is, yes, slightly more growth. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Probably doing frontline attacks probably aren't the best thing to do. Can I actually get there quickly? Yeah, if I had tanks, that'd be great. They actually move so fast. Oh, we overran them. Nice. You can help them out. Help them out, you know. Obviously, doing it like this is going to cause more casualties. If we lose, we lost about 50,000. Versus 200,000, which is not good, but once we can core all this up, that'll be much better. Tokyo standoff. I don't know, I just want to get through this a little more quickly. I want to get to the next focus tree. 
Ooh, advanced infantry rifles. After this war, we're going to definitely make sure that our warriors, we'll say, our soldiers, do extremely well. We're making them pretty much all 40 combat width. Okay, seriously. You should be able to do this. You should be able to kill them off. You really should be able to. They're not that strong. Um, cool, I guess. They're still going that way. 20, 20 divisions left. Out of 26. Not bad. Ooh, another division. Good. Ah, another APC. Awesome. There you go. Come on. Force him, force him, force him. There you go. It would have been better if we attacked here, but whatever. Are we out of guns? We're out of anti-tank. God dang it. Uh, let's see. Peace conference? Hey! We actually won! The port of Magadan captured. As the troops rushed past the Far Eastern frontiers, their sole enemy lands was halted only by the sea. The Great Pacific, open and wide, had met our men after bloody battle as the port of Magadan had come under our control. The icy and choppy waters stretched for miles in every direction in front of them. The mysterious stretch of Siberian waters was the home to far... By, to by far the most significant port in the eastern Russian wastes. A hub of trade and smuggling with a particular taste for Japanese and American goods, the port of Magadan, or Magadan opens up greater opportunities for our administration to not only trade wares, but also make a name for ourselves across the globe. Indeed, with this invaluable port under our control, we pray to see our foot in the door to international recognition and trade. The gateway to Russia has been secured. Great. And we, we don't really need it right now. Uh, 40 combat widths. That's not bad. Let's see. Logistics. Ooh... Yeah, actually, we're doing kind of okay without it right now. Yeah. But these guys, can we get... Doing cavalry would give us more suppression, which actually would be really nice. I think we have uh, other things out here. Oh, we have the Russian Federal... Oh. Okay. So, I didn't realize that the United over here. Yeltsin. Oh, this is a showdown between Yeltsin and Weinberg? Oh, goodness. Oh, we got to integrate all these guys. Oh, it's going to suck. Just do as much as we can right now. We're gonna lose so much stability. Woo! That's so not good. That's okay though. We shall do okay. Right, B Bink? Are we getting any political power? Uh we still are, which is good. It doesn't matter, we gotta do it all. We'll probably do Irkutsk next. That'd be great. And now we're probably gonna have to fight over Kazakhstan. Ooh. Hmm. Serbian reunification, I should, should have done this earlier. Get stability, Navy XP. And here we go. Beautiful, look at that. Tomsk has returned. Exert influence in Kazakhstan. Oh, well, we could try. We can try to be peaceful. So we don't really need to see this anymore. Uh, we probably honestly don't even need to see this anymore either, so. 20, hey, 26.3, not bad, not bad. Military invention in them. I mean, I don't mind going to war with them, but our army is probably just too small right now. Discreted opponents, 25 influence, decreased opponent relations. Well, we'll see what we can do. Unify the motherland, we, we have to control all, basically everywhere. The Commonwealth of Russia, prepare for reunification war, has to be after 71. Begin unification talks, after 71. Eh, we might be able to do that. Extending the olive branch, we might be able to do that, actually. Oh, we got a focus, too. Look at that, 66 billion, woo! And the final focus report, the Pacific Shores. Now that we've united the Far East and Central Siberia, we're no longer fenced in. Our republic stretches from the Lake Baikal to the Pacific, and now we can finally start beginning or begin to trade with the outside world more easily. Our economy itself shall grow due to these newfound advantages such as Port Magadan and Vladivostok. Do we own Vladivostok? I don't think so. With our ports under our unified republic that are, has consolidated its power, we can begin to expand our knowledge of the world. We can also begin to contact the great powers of the world such as the U.S., the leaders of the free world, and the OFM. Possible trade ties could be begin between our nation and theirs, benefiting us both at the end of the day. Our nation can finally throw off its shackles of being far from the sea and the world. Political power, naval, naval XP, bonus of ships, and 100 convoys. Cool. Omen or order collapses in Egypt. Cool. Uh, regional warlord development. An end to wonders. We have come far. Where once government, or once where once our government was seen as a mere warlord, holding on to a scrap of Russian land, we can now assert ourselves as a proper nation on the world stage. Having made it into the final basket of candidates to reunify Russia, our country can stand proud of its accomplishments and look to the road ahead with determination. This progress has filled our citizens with awe, even as we, re we rebuild the country, its infrastructure, and its industries. However, our successes have rendered the wonders of the old much less critical to our efforts. Where once holding on to these relics of a happier past gave our government legitimacy and gave our people tools needed for survival, the wonders under our control are now a tiny portion of our overall assets. They will no doubt come to continue to inspire our people, and they stand as mementos to the warlord era. But where the age we holding on to wonders was of great importance has come to an end. Uh, let's see. Which, which are the... 
things do we have? We have the Legacy of Siberian Plan, Formation of Salons, of course, Warlords of the City, uh, Junction, Base, because I don't want to lose the benefits that we get from these little treasures and relics. The Conference, cool. Uh, yeah, Humanist Economy, Silk Caravans, Humanist Army. No, I don't think we have it. Civilian Austerity. I think for now we can actually probably slash this as well. That'd be fine. 11, almost 12 billion. Oh, my goodness. In the meantime, let's go ahead and train our soldiers because they probably all need to get trained. Uh, infantry. Uh, cool. They're dying down there. Let's do that. Yep, that's fine. Convert you all. And stop training this type of division because you're next. Thank you. Goodbye. Train, 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 train. 0.78 a day. Ooh, that's not good. Minus 0.15 for trying to integrate all these different areas. But we're going to soon get a lot more, hopefully quite a bit more manpower at least. Whew. The Pacific Shore is great. Uprooting diplomatic or dogmatic Marxism. Yeah, let's do this to get decrease coring times. Marx himself was one yet one social thinker, one that was too self-centered onto himself and his teachings. While his methods and ideals have influenced us to an extent, the idea of a dictatorship of the proletariat has no place in our society. One of the recently conquered states we've liberated and brought into the fold has influenced from a Marxist society, we needed to remove these influences. The state has gone through a civil war due to differences in the Marxist belief. <clears throat> To some of the more extreme members of our country, this could be seen as an overreach by us. However, there is nothing more than a, than curing a virus that has stayed in Russia for many generations. Once we do remove this influence or his influence from the Far East, stability can take place that these ideals had held in the people. The people may seem callous at first, but then should be more accepting once they realize the good work we've done. We get more stability and decreased coring time, which is nice. Uh, just go and do these next two. That'd be nice. Yeah, let's see, anything else here? Military invention, yeah, I don't know. I always end up invading militarily, which is okay, but still. I don't, I don't always want to invade militarily, Militarily, do we? I oh, look at 700,000, nice. A little more factories, maybe, maybe just a wee bit. Oh, we gotta build up a couple more things here. Actually, we got some maxed out infrastructure already here, nice. Very nice. Let time go on as well, that'd be good. So many things to build, as always. Let's go here. How are we doing? Motorized is looking great. Plenty of artillery. Improved anti tank is looking good. Uh, just more guns right now. Actually, we're doing pretty well in guns, probably too. Let's see. We could use more refineries, though. Yeah, 9,000 guns, not bad, especially since we converted everyone already, so. Hmm. Peace conferences. And integrate Bratia. Bratia. Getting more fuel. Awesome. And decreasing poverty thanks for greater uh, poverty relief efforts, as well as the expansion of our civilian economy. The poverty rate has decreased significantly enough to be notable internationally. And the government congratulates itself for its efforts. The first official state projections on the impact of this improved pop popular prosperity are filed, stating that people are able to access superior goods, economic opportunity shall be greatly increased, and our workforce shall be capable of greater and greater feats. Awesome. Expanding worker democracy. Workers are the lifeblood of our society. Our rule in Central Siberia was quite focused on the idea of helping the workers instead of oppressing them like the former rulers of Russia. Unlike the former Union, we've placed the utmost importance on protecting them with labor laws and unions. However, when it comes to the Far East, the lands that have been formerly ruled by a group of men called the heirs of Harbin and the dogmatic father working democracy is a non-existent idea. We need to change this. Many of the former workers in the region had lived under the oppressive yoke of men who liked to call themselves rulers while they couldn't give a single bit of pity to the man keeping the country afloat from his labor. We must take these old ideas and morals and toss them out. In our society, there's no place for this. It must be our goal to develop Worker democracy in these regions for the future. We get war support and our expertise begins to improve. We're doing actually really well. Uh, we only have 15 to 25 percent poverty rate. That's what I really, really wanted. That's awesome, 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 awesome. And we get down to here, even better poverty rate. You get 20 percent more recruitable or in income factor rate, which is not bad. Yeah, I want less than five percent poverty, please. That'd be so cool. Uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, signal so companies. Why not? Actually, how do we get these? Improved scout helicopters. You know, I was told to use these. Let's, let's, let's keep doing that idea. Free dockyards. Uh, just get some convoys. That's fine. Nice. Very nice. How's the GDP looking? Well, hey, less than 10 billion. Out. We're doing better. We're at 8.8%. Not bad. Not great. Not great. But we're slowly improving ourselves. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So we basically have to wait. Prepare for unification talks after January 1st, 1971. Which will take a while to get to, of course. Alright, let's come over here. You guys, uh, yeah. 
Just convert all of them to cavalry so they're better for suppression. Oh, actually, you, motorized has more suppression than cavalry. Huh. Oh, AP. Look at that. Oh my gosh. 25 for suppression? I did not realize that they did, that had that much suppression. Holy cow. How much? Hmm. Convert them to do this. Uh, just do... Hmm. Because that does... That... Hmm. Hmm. There we go. We try that, maybe. Expand the university systems. Yeah, we could. I don't want to lower my... Uh, actually, we could probably lower our stability, then. Uh, where is it? Oh, since is in crisis. We're good. Even more research. I mean, we have 99% stability. That's fine with me. Uh, advancing our projects. <clears throat> Before we had the power and opportunity to reunite the East, we had far-reaching plans that would help the region as a whole with great economic benefits. Now that we have the resources and re reach of the Far East. It seemed that an industrial base was constructed by the former denizens of the region, but we can always improve on this. The Central Siberian plan was helping our region Siberia. The East was much more neglected by these plans. Along with these advancements in technology and our project, we can also begin reforms in the many cities and regions that we have under our control, such as Magadan and Baratia. They had been exposed to extremist methods such as Leninism and Fascism. We must reform these regions to generate or guarantee a hopeful future. Nice. <clears throat> How do we get more influence? I have no idea how to get more influence. Uh, nice, we get Bratia to, to under us as well. And firmly secured. I was ready to looking over here. Uh, maybe slightly better air bases. Ooh, those guys. Uh, maybe build that up there as well a little bit. And get level 3, that's fine. Cool. Ooh. Okay, we still got a good amount. We're barely social de socially democratic. Just barely. 2.5. We're going to improve our research facilities soon. Anything else? That's not really good. But poverty rate, we just improved that. And we're also going to get better equipment. Or expertise. No, equipment. Equipment first. <clears throat> cool. So good. Matching our projects. Uh, let's see. Workers' economy. The people's education. Professionalism. Uh, we don't really. Need... Actually, we should. I think I've completely neglected our land auction. Have I have completely neglected our land auction? Oh my goodness. Uh, if that's a case. It really doesn't matter which one we choose. Probably. I like this, but we're already doing pretty well on both of these, so let's do a People's War. While some of the more advanced and developed nations may disagree with the idea of a mass citizen army, if we can train these reserves in the main army enough, they will turn into a formidable force. Some of our political opponents have opposed this idea due to the risk of an uprising possibly or even a standing defeat caused by a much better trained opponent. However, this would be unlikely through our training regime has gone through. We're beginning to acquire books from the West on military tactics and battle plans. Using these, we have begun to adopt or adapt them to the conditions of Central East Central and East Siberia to help us win our wars. Along with this, we have planned to introduce new equipment that we also have shipped to us from the West using our newfound ports in Magadan. Cool, I forgot about land auction completely. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. My bad. Oh, I guess we get getting more development, huh? Actually, how strong are these guys? They might have quite a few guys here. Close facilities. They have a lot of manpower like us. <clears throat> oh my goodness. This is probably the biggest enemy we've we will have to fight that I've ever had to fight in Russia. So we're going to actually go to four. It doesn't matter how much money it costs. We we need that. Oh, my goodness. Spain is all on fire. It's fine. Uh, let's see. You guys. How strong are you guys? Oh, you got a nice mustache. Wow. Oh, you have five divisions. We, we could get rid of you guys pretty quickly, but then these guys would probably try to kill us. So be it. Oh, and actually, before we forget, occupied territories. Yeah, cavalry is already there. That's good. And APC-wise, we're doing okay with that stuff. So... Uh, what do you got with People's War? Nice. The Grand Conference to the West. Neutrality to the Sphere. Science of the World. Russian Determination. The Arteries. The Grand Conference. It appears that it is time for us to pull together our great minds of the humanists into one convention. Unlike many of the other official meetings we have held over the years, this one will encompass the entire country and will be met with thousands of new members to the humanist cause and even more returning ones from the past conferences. <clears throat> Unlike many of the other ones, which had focused on our ambitions through the rise of power in Tomsk, this one will highlight our current height of power and how we will expand upon these ideas. The central idea of this conference will be expansion into the Central Siberian plan. We will also announce our other projects that will modernize Eastern Russia. However, in this time, we have been needing ideas for a project that will all other contenders to unify the country would want. We are planning on asking many of the humanists who come to the conference to pitch their ideas to use in these matters. Yeah, we got to really make sure we actually have more than this. we got to get... a massive military 
Oh, and you have way more empty tank now. Did not realize that. Okay. Dead is but a number that won't really affect us for this campaign, so we're gonna have to do that. We got more military factories coming along? Yes, technically. So. Good. No, oh, Boris Yeltsin. I mean, uh, how? How did you get so much? So much. I can't even develop myself anymore. Huh. Yeah, we do this. We go to war with them. The invasion of Kazakhstan, they won't like that. Cool. Support weapons on Oman. Is defeated Oman. Good job, Oman. 50 billion in debt. Let's get some land auction going. This is what hurt us last time. I forget which one we do. More warfare? We don't have tanks yet. As much as I want to make them, I don't think we have, we'll ever have enough, actually. Oh, we could try to make them. Let's see. Tanks. The 38 combat width. If I did this, it would lower their organization. Gives it a little bit more armor, which is nice. If I did APCs, though... Hmm... It doesn't give us that much more. It does give us more HP, which is kind of nice. Anything else here? Logistics? Eh, I think we'll be okay. There you go. Start making at least one tank division. And for these, these two guys, they're only 20 combat width. I'm going to wait till we get a lot more. And I'll make them 40 combat width as well. In the meantime, though, hmm. Tanks and armor variants of this. Ooh. Heart attack, combined blitz, adaptive command... These are mutually exclusive, which I don't really care for too much. Recovery rate, max planning. Less supply consumption is not bad. Combined operations. I always, I always like combined operations. Strategic, strategic theorem, though. Mutually exclusive. Offensive stuff. Plus 15% more soft attack with the army. Ooh, my goodness. Uh, I think last time we went with the far left. Uh, yeah, because the right side is okay. It's not great. Oh, we'll try this one. Strategic Theorem. Well planned, well planned. That's kind of reminds me of a uh, grand battle plan to a degree. Mm, anything else we can do here? The Duma, I guess. Maybe? Anything? No, not really. That's fine. 26.3%. Nice. Managing development. Uh, regional integration. We've got nothing down here, so. What do I do with my political power now? The Grand Conference. Cool. The Tom Sibar. It is finally time for us to review our plan that we had made during the Great Humanist Conference to the world. The name of it is the Tom Sibar Plan, and it helps to claims to modernize Central Siberia very quickly. Some of the other salons will cause a hive of madmen for even thinking of this plan. However, we are optimistic. The plan calls for three things. One is the development of hypertrains. These trains will use a type of engineering that was pioneered in Japan during the past few years. They will connect most of Central Siberia, turning it into a very connected region and modernizing it. The second is increased connection of these many cities dotting the region, building more and more in between them to foster connection. The third and final phase is the merging of the many cities into one mega city that will serve as the capital of our country. This plan, if completed, shall serve as an envy of the many countries around the world. Unlocks the decisions to further our salon's mega project. The, oh my goodness, what the heck is this? A mega city? Ooh. 10 billion? Ooh. Actually, we could cut spending by quite a bit if we really wanted to, but we can't do that. We gotta build ourselves up more, 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 more. We could get a nuclear reactor, but we have we have other things to build right now. Yeah, we could do that. That's looking pretty good. We don't need it any further in the east right now, so. Actually, yeah, we don't own that of a stock. Oh, hold on. Japan does. Oh. Cool. Let's get through one more focus before we end today's episode. Oh boy. Actually, you guys are still training, which is great. I love it. Keep training, guys. You're doing a great job. What's going on? Order. Oh, the devil of Showa rises from H.E. Double Hockey Stick. Republic of China. Zin Jinan? Jinan? Oh, Tokyo is demilitarized. Look at that. Oh, God. Kishi? Ooh. Man, if you don't know anything about Kishi, he was a dude in our in our timeline, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't like him that much. But anyways, let's do the arteries. While local infrastructure needs a monumental amount of improvements and work, we cannot afford to neglect the major transportation links between our scattered towns and cities as Tomsi Bar is to, plan, is to succeed. The most efficient mode of transport, transporting goods, such as long distances, is by far by rail lines. We should make the investments and take the time to rebuild, repair, and place new lines so that all Tomsk is connected. Improving our links will not only be great for our economy, but will also be vital for our armies. The lines will be made of utmost importance for moving our military across the state in good time. You know what? I lied. I'll do one more. One more after this. Two to political power, not bad. The Tomsi Bar. Unification of Rio Sibirsk, Barnal, and Tomsk into one super massive metropolitan community through the use of high speed rail, improved infrastructure project 
and propaganda effort. By creating a great city to serve as the capital of Central Siberia, it is hoped that we can continue to expand on the region's industrial output and erase the scourge of separatism from the people's minds. This is a great under undertaking, and citizens observe it with interest. Failure to bring about a successful completion of the plan could have negative consequences on the people's trust in our government. Uh, completion is 0%, monthly progress is 0.5, invest... Ooh. Import foreign engineers? Ooh. More progress? Yeah, yeah, do that one. What is this one? Agricultural society development will worsen. Uh, I think we've built ourselves up enough that we can probably afford that. Just equipment. So, cool. Agricultural stuff? That's 3.5. That's still pretty good. Let's get through one more. That is awesome. A mega city? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we can invest in this, which we probably will, honestly. But I'm not going to spend 5 political power to get 10 million. We're going to inspect invest 20 political power and 50 million at a time better research facilities <clears throat> i think we've already read this but we get 10 per cutting edge research facilities makes sense for a place like us right makes perfect sense oh that's so nice keep making more divisions though come on come on come on come on come on come uh, on good military austerity sorry gotta keep slashing that for now as much as i want more output we kind of have to do that uh, i'll do this first it is 1970 though my friends let us go ahead and grab more research speed. And then we'll do this as well. Approved APCs. Uh, how are our planes doing, actually? Jet cast, cool. You know what? I'll do something I'd almost never do. I'll train them. Fighters, cool. The arteries, awesome. Cool, and we shall finish with the capillaries. It's hard for us to claim that to be interested in the well-being of our people when our cities barely provide for our people. Infrastructure within the few urban centers we have are a mess. The collapse of the CSR, infighting, and decay have all taken a toll on public services and roads. First things first, though, we need to repair and build seriously damaged and unusable streets so that people can use them again. Whatever rail lines, trains, and buses that are still salvageable should be pressed into service for the public. And for God's sakes, someone get the water running everywhere. Citizens living in the suburbs of our cities don't deserve functioning infrastructure like any other urban dweller. No more decisions for mega projects, but that's going to end today's episode, my friends. If you enjoyed it, <clears throat> consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. We're going to build some high speed trains, invest the money, and I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully we might be able to finish a campaign in the next episode. Regardless, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.